We're going to go to the White House now, where President Trump is facing new questions over that false hurricane forecast he sent to his Twitter followers. In the Oval Office yesterday, he tried to defend the tweet with an official map that had been falsified with a handwritten mark. Our senior White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega, has the story. Good morning, Cecilia. George, good morning to you. The president is not letting this one go. He is still insisting that Alabama was in Dorian's danger zone, even though the National Weather Service publicly contradicted him on that. Call it MapGate 2019. The question this morning, did President Trump show a doctored map hoping to prove he was right when he warned Hurricane Dorian would hit Alabama? The president displaying that map in the Oval Office. That was the original uh, chart, and you see it was going to hit uh, not only Florida, but Georgia could have uh, was going toward the Gulf. That was what we what was originally projected. And it took a right turn. Take a closer look. The black line projecting that Dorian would move from Florida to Alabama appears to be drawn on by a marker. Here's the original issued last Thursday by the National Hurricane Center, Alabama in the clear. President Trump has repeatedly insisted Alabama was in Dorian's path. Alabama could even be in for at least some very strong winds and something more than that. The National Weather Service even forced to correct him, saying Alabama will not see any impacts from Dorian. But he's still not backing down. I know that Alabama was in the original forecast, but Alabama was hit very hard and uh, was going to be hit very hard along with Georgia. Now FEMA and NOAA referring all questions about the seemingly doctored map back to the White House, where President Trump Georgia, said Alabama he knew nothing it. about it. And that map that you showed today looked like it almost had like a sharpie. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Overnight, the president digging in, releasing yet another map showing Dorian projected to hit Alabama. This one from a regional water agency in South Florida with the warning, if anything on this graphic causes confusion, ignore the entire product. So it's not just the president digging in this morning. His aides here at the White House are following his lead as well. One spokesman tweeting, watching the media go ballistic over a black Sharpie mark on a map would be hilarious if it weren't so sad. So George, it seems the strategy here is once again, when all else fails, blame the media. That is what we have seen. Cecilia Vega, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.